Yo, what's going on everybody? You've seen it on screen, you've seen the thumbnail. And uh, yeah, Infinity Ward can't listen to the community. Now, I think a lot of you already knew this, but well, I wanted to take a look back at a tweet that they just made, and actually two tweets in specific that they have made on their Twitter. So the first one I want to take a look at is one of their playlist updates. And one time, they said, we hear you loud and clear, okay? Keep that in, in your mind. They said, we hear you loud and clear, right? And then, and then they go on to say that, oh, well, you know, we made trios permanent, but didn't add duos, right? So, how do they hear us loud and clear when 90% of the community is asking for duos? At least that's what it seems like. A lot of people want duos in, you know, their multi, in their Warzone game, but they won't give it to us. And even then, their most recent uh, playlist update tweet is rolling out across all platforms. Cabin Fever 24-7, remove Stir Crazy, remove Realism Ground War, remove Denia Palace. And there's so many people who are still asking for duos. Infinity Ward, how hard is it to do, man? Like, I know I call you guys Incompetent Ward, and I know everybody calls you Incompetent Ward, but jeez, guys, like, how hard can it be just to add one simple damn game mode to your game? Like, how hard can it really be? You already have duos in the game in this form of plunders. Just put the BR rules in. Is it that hard, man? Like... You finally listened and left trios permanent, and quads and solos. Where's duos? I I really don't understand why it they have such a hard problem listening to the community. And it's not just this. Like we've complained about so much that they just haven't mentioned, like at all, campers, skill based matchmaking. You know all the stuff, all the fizzads that this game is just plagued with we've complained about it and nothing's happened because it's incompetent where they have no will to actually listen to the community we ask for so little sometimes right like we ask for them to keep the cabin fever 24 7 a permanent game mode because all their other maps are garbage right we've literally told them straight up all your other maps are garbage and they don't listen they're like, oh, I'm Joe Seacott, I have my vision, guys. Uh, we're gonna leave it the way it is, man. But, you know what, at least I can be happy about Cabin Fever, you know? At least I can be happy about it, because now there's actually maps on Modern Warfare that are somewhat playable. But we all know Cabin Fever is realistically just Gunrunner and Hack in a Yard 24-7. You never get Shoot House, you never get Shipment, you never get Rust. So it's literally, and because they added high candor high candor hideout to the game, it's probably just gonna be hideout, gunrunner, and hack in a yard 24/7. I guarantee you. Because they're gonna say that shoot house and shipment are in there, but they're not gonna make them the same odds. It's what they did last time, it was almost impossible to get shipment or shoot house on the old cabin fever playlist. Hopefully they fixed it. They said it was a bug, but I seriously doubt it, because they even when they said it was a bug and they fixed it, they never fixed it, man. <sighs> so, basically, man, Infinity Ward's never going to listen to us. I highly freaking doubt it, dude. Infinity Ward is just so bad at listening to the community, it's unbelievable. We have been asking for stuff since day one to be implemented into the game, and they haven't done it. And they haven't done it. We've asked for Dead Silence to be a perk. They haven't done it. We've asked for doors to be removed. Well, I've asked for doors to be removed. I think a lot of people would like it. Haven't done it. Skill-based matchmaking. Haven't said anything. We know it's Activision now, but they still haven't said anything. And yes, I'm complaining about the same things over and over and over again. And I'm mentioning the same things in every one of my videos because they need to be changed. And anybody who has a... A brain a con and is uh, you know above the age of we'll say five or six can understand that I am complaining about these things 
because if I don't complain about them, nothing's going to get changed. Just like how, even if I complain about this, Infinity Ward's probably not even going to listen. Man, Infinity Ward won't even listen to us complaining about them not listening. Because they don't listen. See what I'm saying? It's just an endless circle of Infinity Ward messing up. Can't swear, you know, it's YouTube, right? It's just an endless circle of Infinity Ward messing things up and just refusing to listen to the community. I don't know if this is Joe Secott's stubborn vision. I don't know if it's because they're working from home. But even Ashton Williams, the community manager herself, isn't listening to the community. And, you know, we already knew Ashton Williams never listened to the community. She never did anything. Her most recent official tweet is from so long ago, man. Like, beyond long ago. We'll just take a look at it. She's just been retweeting Infinity Ward's tweet. Her last tweet that she actually made was on Easter. And all it was was just Happy Easter. Tweet before that was just her replying to some dude's tweet. Then a bunch of retweets and then just saying, oh yeah, we got a free tier skip and we fixed the ghost bundle about three months later. You know, I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare 2 Remastered were releasing on Xbox soon. But whatever, man. It took you long enough. You know, you hoarded their, you hoarded Xbox players' money for long enough, right? Jesus, man. Jesus. They do not listen to us. Help these. Help Infinity Ward, man. Like, Infinity Ward, they need some help. And so does Ashton Williams. Because she's supposed to be a communications manager. But she seems like she's antisocial on social media. And that's not even meant to be a joke. Like, she just doesn't do anything. Like, she just doesn't listen to the community. And I know, oh, she can't, well, she can't see everybody's tweets. Yeah, I know, but her last reply was four days ago, and it was not even about Modern Warfare. It, it's just like, oh, there's an animation wrong with this uh, watch inspect. That, that was it, man. And then Happy Easter again. Like, you would think if you're a communications manager, you'd be listening to the community, relaying the information back like you're supposed to be doing to Infinity Ward. Like, hey, uh, guys, the community doesn't like skill-based matchmaking. Oh, well, it's Activision's fault. Oh, uh, okay. Well, the community doesn't like camping. Uh, it's Activision's fault. <sighs> like, at some point, I wonder if Infinity Ward's just going to come out and blame everything on Activision, despite us literally knowing it's pretty much all of them. You know what, whatever, man, I I'm done ranting. Infinity Ward, they don't listen to the community. If you guys did happen to enjoy this rant-style video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content about Call of Duty 2020 when we get more news about that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all later. I think this is the first time I've talked to an end of a gameplay in a while. And, uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day, everybody. Sub to the channel for more Call of Duty content. And peace out, everyone.